Hello Monday. Um, whatever time it is for you, morning, afternoon, evening, I hope it's good for you. Uh, don't forget to be awesome. Um, this coffee, this chocolate macadamia nut creamer, it's like sugar free. As long as I don't try and eat my own hair during it. Okay. So let's get started. It's a little late for me. <clears throat> it's almost 10 a.m. Um, I had some things that I had to do this morning and I will for the next couple of days. So uh, I'll be getting a late start. All that jazz. Anyways, um, I think it's pretty important to share these things with y'all. Um, I really try my best to be as raw and real as possible and not hide anything. And when I say not hide anything, I mean emotionally. Um, when I come to these days, some days are better than others. Um, some days I feel like my life is caving in and some days are just absolutely honky dory. So... The biggest part, and I was actually speaking with one of my students yesterday, the biggest part of learning to trade is learning to control your emotions. Um, becoming a day trader can make a lot of changes in your life. Um, you just have to be open and willing to accept them and you have to be ready for change. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna move it along. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, if I can remember how to do this, here we go. Tell me I'm recording. Okay, we're gonna take this puppy off of here. All right, let's pull up that daily chart. I can't help it, I just wanna sing the song. Why? It's a daily chart. Do, 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 do. Oh, looky, looky what's happened here. So it pushed up, it didn't reach that high. So we didn't reach that previous high. We are starting to get a purple BB as it pulled down. And I'm guessing this morning, and I need to get rid of all this from Friday. I'm guessing this morning that BB um, pushed down pretty hard uh, because it was, um, here we go. We did a big drop. So we got that purple BB because we got a mighty fine drop this morning. Let's actually go ahead and move over to that. Look how big this drop. It was a mighty fine drop. Um, <laughs> let me spread this out and look here. All right, that W pivot held out for a little bit, but it ended up going up. We went up, we didn't exceed that high. Okay, so we didn't exceed that high for the day. <sighs> so looky, looky what we got here we got a little bit of a wedge higher pivots here lower pivots here i'm not gonna let that wedge bother me too much um, but we can see that we definitely have higher pivots than that last major pivot right here this if you're looking at you know bigger tick charts it's just kind of a flow uh, as we're pulling up into this area this would be where we'd be anticipating the short to happen and let's look at what's happening here. Got a good space to pull up to. We are starting to get some divergences here, but it doesn't look like these areas are meant to hold. Let's see if it'll pick me up here at all. even. She's going to pull it past this point, but we're just going to watch. I'm 
going to go ahead and take my exit. The reason I'm taking my exit is the slowdown here, the divergence potential here, and a lot of distance to travel back. Do I think it's going to go down to about here? It probably is, but it's probably going to give a good enough pullback that I really wasn't prepared to sit through at the moment. This reversal bar is making it a little bit tough for me, but it can still push it past that. Just because it's a reversal bar down doesn't mean everything. But it's just too much strength coming down right now. There we go. Put me in, coach. this one up here just for you know I'm I'm an optimist let's move it up to the next area okay first one's out we're gonna go to a break even so I'm let this keep going until it tells me it's time to stop Go ahead and take the exit here. Reversal bar, double bar reversal, pulling down, reaching up towards that next area. Had a good area to pull back. Good spot to pull back, double bar. really working to change the direction to the upside um, in the way of our bigger tick charts here. All right, let me turn these on on here so we can see them all in the same space. All right. Uh, it's been an hour that I've been sitting with the market um, and I'm just going to go ahead and a break for the day. 386, man, 10, 10 points, two trades. Definitely saw potential here. Wasn't even here for any of this. Saw the potential for the long happening here and waited until this point to take it to where it was more comfortable. Um, weak retracement in the MACDs here, rolling towards the zero line here slow down pull back here there were some signals <laughs> okay um this definitely gave the original signal but this told us that it was going to continue up so it is between these emas on the 4181 but um it's kind of worked itself out in the other uh, areas okay guys so um let me put this one last thing on here. So it'll be easy to read. Two trades, 10 points. All right. Yeah. I had a pretty good feeling this was going to continue up, but I just was done. Look at it pulling up to this little spot and rolling off of it. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Let it push through higher. Okay. I'm not feeling great. I got a little bit of chills going on. upset stomach. I feel like I'm looking pretty pale. Uh, I think I'm going to call it a day. Um, so I do see this market still continuing up. The MACDs were still showing strength up on the 10946. Hey, I'm not complaining. Oh yeah. Whoa. It's like shooting way up now. I know you can't see it. Hold on, just one moment. Hold, please. Look at how it just shot up here a little bit further. Just really shot up to that next area and is holding on up there. So, there we go. 
Okay. That's going to be it. It's almost 1 o'clock. Um, there's going to be a new process to putting this out, so hopefully things work out well. But uh, that's something maybe y'all won't even notice on your end. It'll just be on my end. So um, I'm going to go ahead and close it down. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and close it down. That's going to be that. And uh, I hope to catch y'all on the profitable side.